business uh, puts together a set of aims and objectives, and then with those aims and objectives in mind, put together sort of action plans and uh, ways of achieving them. So, okay, so the purpose of this business, as you well know, it's, um, it's a school. So our aim is to educate. But to break that down, every single school has its own vision, has its own overall purpose. And our vision at this school, the staff certainly know it, and every member of staff, it's really important to us that every member of staff knows this. It's to provide a unique and outstanding place of learning for all. So a unique place and an outstanding place of learning for all students. So should they will be making notes, or uh, does this young lady make notes, or just... Well, I mean, she's be looking at the clip later, but I mean, if you want to make notes now, that'd be now good. as well, wouldn't it? Okay. And then, when I see you making notes, I need to slow down because it's obviously something worth uh, worth listening to. All right. Um, okay. So while trying to make it unique and outstanding, okay, for all students, and that's really key to us here, all students. What we want to do is make sure that students are sent to the wider world with the skills that they need. Okay, so it's all very well having a really good set of GCSEs, but we're more than that here as well. We want students to go into the world with a wide set of skills and the GCSEs necessary. What we also want to try and do is make Eltham uh, a community to really be proud of. Now, the school is at the heart of a community. Okay, there's certain other places in communities that are also part or the heart of that community, but we see the school as being the heart of the community. So therefore, we actually think that we will help Eltham and this area become a better place by making the school a better place, and as students leave this school, they will go into that place and carry on making it better. So we have a lot of pride in our community. We want to make your lives sort of broader, and we kind of, we know London, Eltham's an exciting place to live, but we kind of want to say it's not the only place out there. So we want to broaden your experiences. So we offer things like Brilliant Club, um, we offer things like Arrival, all sorts of camps, trips to France, that sort of thing, to give you experiences of the wider world. And finally, we know that secondary school, whilst it's pretty important for our lives because we've all chosen to work here, we know it's not the last thing in your life, so we want to help you make the right choices as you go along. So we have a big role in helping students to think about their future and to help you make your right choices. So we understand school is only part of your journey towards becoming adults and uh, to becoming, uh, you know, getting to your careers or whatever pathways you choose to go. Okay, so there's four things that our school is measured on. There's four things that we aim to achieve outstanding in. Four things. The behaviour of the students, the attainment, that means the grades that students get, attainment, A-T-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T. -E so the grades or attainment, A-T-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T. -E we also need to be outstanding leaders, and also we need outstanding lessons, and we call that teaching and learning. So the teaching and the learning of the students. All right, so aim one. Anyone tell me what aim one was? Behaviour. Behaviour, okay. Of students and also, of course, Tim, of staff as well, we hope, right? Okay. So what we want is we want a really, really outstanding behaviour system. In order to have outstanding behaviour, we need outstanding systems. So our objective one, what we need is a really clear, a really clear and consistent, that means it doesn't change. We make a plan once and we stick by it. A really clear, consistent behaviour system. And the people who are going to back that up every single day are the SMT, that's myself, Dr Moody, Mr McMillan, Mr Tomlinson, all that team, the pastoral team, okay, and a few other members of staff, key members of staff, like heads of department. We're going to be the people checking that everyone in the school is following our system. All students and teachers should understand all the penalties. They should know all of the rules and all the consequences. Okay? Everyone understands them, and it's the SMT, people like myself, and also that's SMT for senior management team, and people like the pastoral team who are going to back that up every day, check up on that, make sure it's taking place. A good example of that would be uniform checks. All teachers know that students should have blazers, ties, etc. 
Right, Lisa? However, the pastoral team go around on a daily basis and check that all the students are there to support the teachers in doing that. Number two, objective two was to, objective one for systems, objective two is to make sure that we clamp down on all the small things. I say small things, small things in the school lead to big things. An example of that is lateness in the morning. Being just one or two minutes late every morning, that's a small thing. I know that, uh, I'm sure that, uh, what's your name again? Jeffrey. Mm. Jeffrey's thinking, yeah, absolutely, it's a minute or two late. I was the same at your age as well. But a minute or two late every morning, every day, okay, that leads to big things. It leads to an inability to get to work on time when you get older. It leads to a lot of mislearning. It leads to interruptions every day in lessons and so on and so forth. And of course, one minute late becomes two minutes late, becomes three minutes late, and so on and so forth until people are missing a lot of learning. So keep, keep on top of small things throughout the day and then big things follow, good things happen. Um, and then finally, uh, I talked about the pastoral team a bit. Our, our third um, objective with behaviour is to ensure that our pastoral team all right, are outstanding. And their job is to link with teachers, students, and of course, do you know who else the pastoral team work a lot with? Anyone got any other idea? Another parents. stakeholder? Parents, absolutely, okay, they work hard with parents. So that's a really important behavior link that we have. The pastoral team, that's Miss Bailey in your year, isn't it? Okay, she works with you, with the teachers, but also with the parents, okay? And uh, they, they go out into the community as well with Mr. Dixon. They go out into the community and they get in the minibuses and they meet parents and they try and support in any way they can. Okay. Well, we have to evaluate ourselves on that uh, aim for outstanding behaviour. How is it being met? Well, you've all been here for a while. We've we, we, we turned it around, haven't we? In the last two years, since the leadership had taken over, Mr. McMillan and Mr. Thompson, you've seen a big change. So we think we're well on our way. We're not there yet. There's still people coming in late through the door. There's still uniform issues. But we're cracking it. Do you think we'll ever stop having late on the gate? Do you think that'll ever stop? Yeah. No. Do you think we'll ever stop doing uniform yeah. checks? No. It, would be it would be perfect. But remember, we're still <laughs> looking always for the small things. And there's always going to be small things going on. So really, our behavior is becoming outstanding but we'll always, always work to maintain it. Keep it outstanding, if that makes sense, okay? The moment you stop, people start being late and so on and so forth. All right, next up, aim two is, um, um, I'm gonna change the order a bit. I'm gonna talk about teaching and learning next, okay? Teaching and learning, so that's what happens in a lesson from a day-to-day -day basis. Objective one was to make sure we had staff in place, okay? You can't run a school without teachers, you know that. We need to make sure we have the right teachers teaching the right subjects and the right subjects being offered at this school. So making sure we've got the right staff is really important for us. What we've got in this school is something called ASTs, okay, A-S-T. That stands for Advanced Skills Teacher. But if you like, they're kind of the Jedi, Jedi Knight of the teaching world, okay? They're pretty good teachers who have got a lot of experience. I suppose it's cool. Okay, and we hired a sorry, we hired a lot of them. So an example of one of the ASTs is um, AST is uh, Miss Lima. Okay, I don't know if you've been into her classroom, but she kind of does that extra uh, sort of magic in there. Um, she's been hired because we know that she's got advanced skills in teaching. So. Also, at the same time, uh, we have to make sure that teachers who don't meet standards, okay, they, they're moved on and get training elsewhere. We couldn't wait around. We needed it to be excellent here very quickly. So we had to let some teachers go, and we took on some new staff. Okay, a second objective is, um, just like with the behavior, you've got to keep pushing it. So it doesn't matter who you hire, how good they are, if you're not still training them and practicing with them, then they're not going to get any better. So what we've got is a, something called a CPD program, which is a continued professional development program. Continued professional development, CPD. It's really, really important in this school. 
every single week teachers meet and train together. So we teach, and as teachers we're taught, we're learning too, we're trying to get better. Has this, has this uh, objective been met? Has this aim, sorry, been met? Well, objective one has been met really, because we have the right teachers in place. Objective two, the CPD, the continued training, that's being met all the time. Um, what we're aiming for now is that all lessons are good or better. Now that's an Ofsted term, okay? That's an Ofsted term. You might have heard of it before, Ofsted. They measure how good teachers are. And there's two categories that we want all of our teachers to be in. Good or, or a better category called outstanding, okay? And our aim by the end of this year is to have 80% of all teachers good or outstanding. So that's obviously a, a, a large majority there. Okay, that's an aim. So if we hit that at the end of this year, then yes, aim two will have been met. Is this about right, sir? Yes, yeah, okay. good. Aim three, attainment. Attainment, did anyone remember what attainment meant again? It's the grades achieved by you, okay. Now, we can talk about how good our teachers are, we can talk about how well the students are behaving in the school, but unless you guys have results, grades at the end of it, then it doesn't really matter if you're looking very smart. So, attainment is to me the most important one. Outstanding attainment. Number one, objective one, is linked to aim, one, aim two. Aim two was about excellent teaching and learning. If we don't have really good teachers, then we can't have really good attainment. So, in order to get excellent attainment, we need to make sure that objective one is met, that we have outstanding teaching and learning. Objective two, focus on intervention. So we've got all the classes sorted with objective one, because we have excellent teachers in place. But objective two talks about all those things that go on after the school day and before the school day. And the times where year 11s at the moment are sitting with something called a private tutor or a one-to-one -one tutor and they're getting special support. Or down in the access centre, some of the years 7s, 8s and 9s who are doing things like Read Write Inc. Okay, getting, practising with their phonics. You've probably seen them down there, practising reading, that sort of thing. That's called intervention. So that's all the stuff that doesn't just happen in the normal classroom. The Saturday mornings, the weeks we've got three programmes for year 11s where we paid people to come in to our school and deliver maths and English for an intensive week during the uh, Easter holidays, for example. At the Easter holidays there's English going on. In the May half term there's a week of maths and you'll probably get that as well when you're in year 11. So these extra boosters, okay? Um, finally, um, objective three, we make sure, is that the end of the school day? Not quite. Okay, objective three um, is, we can evaluate behaviour uh, later, sir. Objective three is to make sure that all coursework aspects of GCSE students are really up to scratch. Because um, we can have excellent teachers, we can have great intervention, but if actually you're handing in coursework folders that aren't on target grade, you're never gonna get anywhere. So we look very carefully at all the data Okay, including exam results and coursework grades to make sure that we just push those up as high as we possibly can in preparation for your final GCSEs. All right, how are we meeting that? Well, I don't know if you can remember, but you probably can't. Many years ago, this school um, was getting less than half the students with five agencies. In fact, um, not more than two or three years ago, we were on 29%, a third, so one in three. One, you got it, but you didn't, and nor did you. You got it, but you didn't, and nor did you. You got it, and so and so forth, okay? Last summer, we got 73% uh, A stars to C's, which was almost, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, sorry, you didn't. You got it, you got it, you got it, sorry, you didn't. Three and four, much better than one and three. Our next aim is 80% this summer, so that would be four and five. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Sorry, got it, got it. Okay, much, much better. Uh, it also made us one of the most successful schools in the country. In Greenwich, we were the top non-selective uh, school, non-selective school. And in terms of where we're going, if we get our results this summer, we'll be one of the most improved schools in the country in terms of attainment. 
So is that objective being met? I, I, I think so. I think so. If we hit 80% this summer, then, then we're doing very, very well indeed. And the final one is leadership. Aim four is outstanding leadership. None of these aims and objectives would have come about without leaders. So I suppose this is a good one to finish on. Objective one, okay, of this aim for outstanding leadership is to have a very, very clear structure within a school. At the very top, you have Dr. Tomlinson, who runs two schools. He works with various people, including the local authority, including Harris. But then we have our very own principal here, which is Mr. McMillan, who's here every single day. And everyone in the school, from the very, very new starting teachers, to myself, to Mr. Dixon, okay, who's a very senior teacher who's been here a long time, everyone goes through Mr. McMillan. Below that is Miss Senior and Mr. Dixon. Below that is Mr. Sorry, Dr. Moody, Mr. Patterson, myself, and Miss Hare. And then there's a hierarchical structure down. Now that's really, really important. It's really important that we know who to listen to, who to take advice from, and we also know who we manage. So that's very clear. So a hierarchical structure, hierarchical. Uh, you'll have to look that up in the dictionary if you're not too sure how to spell it. Next up, um, the senior management team, okay, so that team I actually just talked about, we meet on a very regular basis. We meet three mornings a week and one afternoon. And our meeting runs from about four until about eight sometimes. So four hours on a Tuesday. So we have a very long meeting where we talk about everything that needs to be talked about in terms of the school. And then we meet on Monday morning, on Wednesday morning, and on um, Friday morning. Um, and the reason we meet at these times is because all of us are kind of eyes and ears around the school. We gather information together, we meet together, we talk about what's going on, and then we make decisions. Okay? So if we're not meeting on a regular basis, then we're not making decisions quick enough. So actually, our meetings are about pace and making sure that things happen quickly. Um, the final thing about our senior management team, so outstanding leadership. If you have a think, this is objective three, if you have a think about who's on that team, okay, we have Mr. Tomlinson, who's already been a very successful head teacher at his own school, Chafford 100. Okay, we have Mr. McMillan, who was also a successful uh, uh, assistant principal and I think deputy principal there before. But then we've got Dr. Moody, a maths teacher, We've got Mr. Dixon, a PE teacher. We've got Miss Senior, a history teacher. We've got various different teachers on that team. But then each of us have different expertise. So Dr. Moody and myself, we're very good at working with other teachers. Miss Senior is very good at attainment, so she's very good at looking at how students are doing in terms of their exam results. Does anyone know uh, Mr. Dixon's strength? What his focus is in this school? Behaviour. Now have a look at all the three objectives, uh, sorry, the three aims that we had before the leadership. Aim one was behaviour. Have we got someone on the leadership team who's a pro at that? Yeah. Right. Another one's attainment. Right? Attainment. Now Miss Senior, that's her remit. She's absolutely proven herself at, um, she was at Woolwich Poly, uh, Polytechnic beforehand. Right? And she did very, very well there. She came into this school and she's carried on doing well. And then there's Dr. Moody and myself who are passionate about teaching and learning. And of course, that's another one of the aims, okay? So having a team, and I think you'd call it a balance of skills, a balance of skills on that team, that's our third, object, our third objective for the final aim, which is outstanding leadership. Okay. So finally, um, we try and run on time. Um, I think leadership is being met. Um, what we've got to look at is trying to keep consistency within the leadership team, try and keep people in post. Um, but overall, are we outstanding yet? We're not quite, because we still know that we're working on improving the school. When we get to the school to the place that we want it to be, and we start maintaining it, that's when we know we're outstanding. So we've still got some work to do. Finally, our competition, important for all businesses. 
Can anyone think who our competition might be? Schools. Other schools. Crown Woods. Um, who else? Falconwood. Thomas Tallis, etc. The reason they're our competition is because we look at their results. They look at ours. We think about image. How smart do their students look on the buses? How smart do we look? We look at the buildings. Have we got the best buildings? No. No. So that's a challenge for us. That's competition. And finally, we look at student safety as well. Are our students looking after themselves? Are you being safe out on the streets? Are you being safe in school? Um, I think that's about what we've got time for. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks very right. much.